Hey guys, here's a quick tutorial on how to get Claude 3.5 Sonnet, the new one, to work with uh, computer use. If you have seen so far on what the demo looks like, uh, it, it looks roughly like this. But the code demo that they provided for everyone doesn't really look like this. It looks slightly like this. So if you're so interested in trying to get the demo running, uh, feel free to keep watching. Okay, first we need to go to their GitHub. Uh, I will link this down in the description and it's really straightforward. The first thing you got to do is download Docker desktop. So if you don't have it, uh, you can download it. How do you know if you have it or not? You can go into your CMD or any other command prompt. Oh, right. This is for Windows installation. I forgot to mention. So you go to Docker, you type in Docker help. And if you get anything that's not an error, then that means you have Docker installed, which is good. So you don't have to really do anything. But if you don't have it, you got to go download, download the right version for your system. And I'm going to cover the window installation tutorial only. So if you're on any other devices, uh, good luck. And after you finish downloading Docker, you usually probably have to restart your computer. So go ahead and restart. And after that's done, you can head back to this GitHub page. And then you can clone this repo by download a zip and then paste it onto any folder that you want to put it or use a git if you have git. So I'm just going to use git to speed things up. But before that, let me let me create a folder. Let's call this a uh, computer sonnet computer use sonnet computer use. I suggest you don't use any space in the file path. So it will be easier for you to use the command later. So you gotta change directory into the sonnet computer use folder and then you git clone and paste the and now you have it and then you just go into the computer use demo and then you cd into that directory here so now that's done uh the command they provided here is for linux system well for unix but we're on windows so I slightly modified it and then you can just copy and paste from the description, which is much easier. But before you do that, there's a few things that you got to do. So first, uh, you got to set your Anthropic API key. So you got to put your Anthropic API key here. So if you want to use uh, the newest, latest, well, I think it's automatically set to the 3.6 Sonnet, but you just got to put your API key here. Well, how do you get your API key while well, you head to Claude and then go down, go to your API console, go to your console, and then you go to your API keys here. Then you can see you can create your API keys. Remember, don't push your API keys anywhere. Keep it safe. Don't share with anyone. Well, that's the best practice. You usually cannot copy it again once you have created. So you got to keep it safe. And I think you need to deposit some money before you can create an API key. So you got to do some payments. And after that is done, you can go to one of the commands I have gave you and then you paste the API key here. And then you copy this whole line with your API key and then you paste it here. I'm not going to use it because I already have it set in my environment. And the next thing uh, you see this file path we're in right now, we got to convert this to the your file path. So you see um, my file path right now is this Z drive tutorials on a computer use and throb it quick starts computer use demo All right so it gotta be z tutorial sonnet computer use and i gotta add more anthropic quick starts and then computer use demo you gotta get the slashes correct by the way since uh, it's a linux converting between linux system and then a win windows system so uh if you do the other slash it's is special symbols is like space. So if you do have space in your directory and then you can't really do anything about it, let's say, let's say my directory is like, like what computer use. Then when you copy it here, you gotta, you gotta do wait computer use. Sorry. You gotta, you gotta add a backslash and then this will count as a character. Oh, I forgot what that's called, but you need to add backslash if, if you're using space in your file path, basically. So it's, it's, it'll be like this. It'll be like this. So you have two space that look like this, but if I change it back to dash dash. So just use dash, which is more straightforward. 
Okay, so when, when you're done with the command, you copy it and then you go back to your CMD and then you paste it by right click and you press enter. And it'll take some time to do whatever, download whatever. It should be really quick. Yeah. All right, that's done. And then you can just copy this link and it'll open a web page with it. Um, let's see. And then you can go to your Docker and can see this oh this one is running in four ports so i didn't mean to do that show all four ports and then you can open it uh, i don't know when this one is not open open it open it and then yeah uh you can use it so in 8080 localhost 8080 is the actual thing so please gotta read this carefully before you use it please gotta read this carefully before you use it open firefox and search by club and go into the youtube page and press subscribe yeah there you go um invalid api key because i didn't set it i'm trolling all right there you go Okay, so yeah, you, you'll see it take a screenshot and it'll navigate with tool use. And then you'll open it. Hey, that's Firefox. And then it's going to search by cloud, YouTube. Oh, that's me. Holy sh**. I didn't mean to swear. And then, yeah, that should be it. Uh, let's see what it does here. Let's click it, sign in. Right limit error. Yeah, you're gonna be hit with this a lot since uh the request sense is really high. You might not be able to really use it unless you have better plans, so you're not rate limited. And if you want to use the computer screen, you just uh press this button, toggle screen control, and then you can around don't log in to anything unless you're aware of the risk please gotta read this carefully before you use it so yeah that's it for this video if you want to support me check out my patreon here and i'll greatly appreciate it check out my main channel for the actual content this is just a tutorial channel where i just spam videos with low quality cuts but yeah i'll see you all